Hi guys, I wanted to talk to you about some products that I am really loving and kind of do a comparison um, to each other. So what am I talking about? I'm talking about bronzers. I have never been a huge bronzer person. There's one other uh, bronzer that I do want to get that I want to compare these to, and that is um, Burberry's Nude Glow. That's the only one that I haven't gotten, and I probably will get it this month just to compare to these, but I have some really great ones to compare to, and I thought that I would review them with you on what I think of each one of them. So, um, without further ado, the latest add to my collection is my all-time favorite, so I'm not going to even send it to the end. I'm going to just tell you all straight out. This was also in my um, April favorites video, but it is the Guerlain Terracotta bronzer and I absolutely look at this packaging look how the light hits that and you just see the sheen the golden sheen or bronzy sheen below of the Guerlain uh, emblem and it's just so beautiful you guys um, the packaging and then um, it is just the regular terracotta zero zero it's the terracotta bronzing powder and I've heard about it for years and never tried it I don't know why I guess because I didn't think I was a bronzer person I just use darker blushes or whatever I didn't really want to cut in and I will tell you this is I said this on another video that I uploaded a few minutes ago this is not just this color I was playing in makeup go figure and um, so this has a couple of other co colors mixed in but, and you can see look how this is a little cooler and it's a little more neutral but can I tell you when you just put this on this is great for every day I just noticed it smells yummy. Um, but anyway, I absolutely love it. It's going to be one of my must-haves in my um, line. And again, I would tell you this is, I think, my all-time favorite bronzer. Uh, it is a little on the expensive side, but then there's... I'm finding that a lot of the products that I absolutely love are... Because y'all know I just love me some Chanel. Well, now it's Chanel and Guerlain. I think it's actually pronounced Guilla or Guerlain because L-A-I-N, the N is not pronounced. So it's like Guilla, Guerlain, I don't know. Ask a French person. Anyway, so that's one. Y'all know that one of my, uh, it took me a while to warm up to this being a favorite. <laughs> and that is the uh, Soleil Tan de Chanel or the Bronze Universal. And that is because this is a... Um, this is a cream bronzer, and at first I was not crazy about it. Um, and I think I tried it because Makeup by Tiffany D said it was her like holy grail product that she had to have. That was, and she applied it with a Chanel number two uh, bronzing or blush brush, which is it? Anyway, it's a number two brush. I even got that brush, which you wouldn't believe what I had to go through to get it because they don't sell it in the store. I had to get it online. Um, but anyway, here's one of the things about that brush. Do you see in there? Look at all those little hairs. That is from the, the brush. And I found out when I was like bronzing my neck with that brush, it I was itching later. So I don't think it's that brush is for me or either this product isn't. But this does have a nice effect. But I have to tell you, the blush, the brush that I would rather use is my Small Duo Fiber F55 from Sigma. This is from the Extravaganza line, meaning that that ferrule is made of 18 karat gold or plated in 18 karat gold. And just because my fixtures in my bathroom, I've said this like a thousand times, are brass instead of chrome or brushed nickel, I wanted my, because these sit in a real pretty crystal um, glassware on the countertop, I wanted this to be goldy and pretty and so anyway ordered some pieces I did not order the full line so don't go judging anyway um I like to use this and just tap it in and then just swirl it around right back here and maybe that is where I went a little overboard but you know and then of course and as you get older ladies let me tell you something about bronzing um you bronze differently this area right here now I have double dimples here so that's why that pokes out a little see how it pokes um, not everybody has that, but what almost every woman will get as they age is this right here and here drop. And that's why you see this wrinkle show up. So you counter it by smiling and, um, and that's it. Nothing's going to get rid of it by facelift. And I just, you know, then everything else falls too. So just don't waste your money. Just accept it and just say, I'm, I'm a beautiful old lady. But anyway, 
you still can use makeup tips and one of the things you know how some people talk about you you bronze right here and then you come down you know the three here in your temple then here and then here not just there go all the way to here and swirl right on that little area right there and uh, then you need to blend that out by going up and down on it and then also as you get older this area right here drops and so that's another place to just kind of focus some bronzer and then your chin and it just kind of gives you a shadow kind of helps hide those little wonderful features anyway so I do like this now it took me a little while to catch on to it uh, again it's pricey and I thought is there something I like better I just tend to really love Chanel products and of course it matches my brushes with the gold trim so it's pretty packaging nah. anyway Okay, so that's that, and then, um, oh, by the way, on using my um, terracotta, I usually use, um, this is also from the Extravaganza line, and this is the Sigma Small Contour F05, um, just to, to give you a comparison, well, that's a mini too, these are both minis, I don't know if you can see, see how those are smaller, um, this is kind of full size, this is from IT Cosmetics, and it's their 315 Soft Focus Sculpting Brush. And you can kind of see this is a little smaller. And you turn that long ways, okay? But anyway, for my terracotta, I use this. And I cut in just with that right there. Swap it around. Okay, uh, but another uh, brush that I can use is this one that I just said from IT Cosmetics. This is part of the uh, Velvet Luxe line, by the way. And it really is a nice brush. Again, this is the 315. And as you can see, it's wide. And then you turn it and it's skinny. And it's good just to, for cutting in like that. And then you can turn it long ways and kind of blend it out, back out. So there's not such a line. I mean, you want it to cut in. You kind of want the line. But then you want to blend it right back out. And again, right underneath. I'm just having so much fun with makeup. I'm probably way over made up today. Uh, oh, I just remembered why. This looks so kind of dark there. Um, I did take a little extra of, it may have been the Chanel, and I used just a regular blending brush, and I went right there. And that really, especially if you're going out, that helps cut it in a little bit. See how that cut it in? But it's really kind of going out for dark night. Otherwise, it's a little much. It is. And also, it's good for blending on either side of the nose. And this is just a Sigma um, SS. 224 and that's a, a blending brush and it's very hard to read this because this is part of my original brush set that I got in this baby pink color and the writing is in silver hello that's pretty but it makes it hard to read okay um another um kind of contouring product that I use this is by Laura Geller and I love her blush Malibu that looks like you have a sunburn and I really actually only use it right here right here the bridge of the nose and right here like when you would get an actual sunburn I don't do the apples of the cheeks or certainly not back here but this color is called um, pink grapefruit and this is a blush and brighten but do you think this looks like a brightener it doesn't to me to me and for my skin tone it's quite dark so I use this as a bronzer, and I do like it a lot as a bronzer, you guys. Um, you know, it's a baked product. It's made in Italy, and I love it a lot. So that's another one. And then I went ahead, bit the bullet. I did it. I went hourglass, you guys. I have told you in other videos, I don't see what all the hype is. But now that I've been using it for a while, I can say I like it. It's average. I would never pay this kind of money again. Um, so those of you who really love this, you can hate me if you want. Um, I found all three of the colors. Um, this one is more, see how it looks like it's kind of brown? It's not. It's almost like a, I don't know how it comes across because it is brown looking, you guys. But it comes across like this top one, like pink. And this, look how it's peachy. Um, it doesn't come across that peachy. I mean, it kind of does peachy orangey more than this pink pink does this is the weirdest palette I've ever used but I do use it daily and so I have to say I wouldn't purchase it again for the money but I'm going to use it up and finish enjoying it and then last but not least how can you get away from the Charlotte Tilbury 
um, Film Star Bronze and Glow. This is a beautiful product. It's absolutely lovely. It's it's one of the prettiest packaging products I've ever seen. It's a rose gold, and you've got your bronzer and your highlighter. And I don't use highlight that much because as you get older, again, you don't want to highlight too much right here because it highlighters highlight. And you would have to do a little lower right here and stay away from these inner pores, ladies, because when you highlight inner pores that um, have gotten bigger as you get older, um, it, it's not a good look <laughs> at all. So, um, because it just shows the size of the pores. So stay two fingers from your nose back. And you can do right there to right there. Do not get anywhere near these crow's feet or it will highlight them. Highlighters highlight. Just remember that. Another good use of this highlighter, though, is the tip of your nose, your um, cupid's bow, and under your brow and your inner corner. So this is still a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful champagne glow highlighter. Absolutely love. I will also have to say in my April favorites, I forgot a product and I hate that I did. And that is the Brow Stylist Plumper from L'Oreal. I really do like this. It's a brow gel mascara, it says. Um, basically, I have it on now and it yes, it does very much. Do the job. I am loving this. It's got a tiny little brush. Let me just show you as you would want. And you could use it since I have used the medium to dark. You could use this for under eye um, eyelashes, but I just use it for my brow. But anyway, that's everything um, that I have to say about bronzers for now. When I get the um, Nude Glow by Burberry, um, I may have a whole different opinion. I may do another whole video on it. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys again in my next video. Bye.